What's going on, y'all? This is Brandon Thornton, Encore ATX representative. We're here in Austin, Texas, man. Southside chilling. And I'm hanging out with my man right here, Kennard, hip hop, uh, wordsmith, go get a rhyme spitter, freestyle Friday all day long, man. He's like on 30 freestyle Fridays <laughs> right now. So just let the people know a little bit more about you, man, before we get started. Um, Kennard, man, from Toledo, Ohio, 419. By way of Detroit, came down here to Austin, Texas, man, and right now we're just grouping, we're getting into the music, Get you know in. what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so I'm, I'm interested to know, man, I, I know you, you know, dabbled into comedy in your past. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know, but I know hip-hop is where your heart is, so yeah. tell us your first experience with hip-hop, man, like where, 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 um, did, where did the love come from? I mean, the first experience, like, that I can remember is being on the bus. And I got that doggy style. And uh, the blue disc with Snoop, he had on the skull cap, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, what is this? I had never heard anything like that coming up in our house, right? We was listening to the Ready for the Worlds and our bead and the Silk. And then I had that. And I think that that was the time where I became conscious of hip hop, right? That was the time where it was like, okay, this is different. I think that, you know, I want to listen to this and see what's going on. Um, and for me, as I went along, you know, I just started to discover other genres with it, right? The East Coast when Biggie was out, um, West Coast with, with N.W.A. and the Wu-Tang Clan. And so musically in the Midwest, we got everything, right? We got East Coast, we got West Coast. But the earliest experience for me was Snoop, and he just talked way different than everybody else. Yeah. Like, remember, Snoop was real smooth. I remember that Snoop album. His, I remember his album was like a movie, you know It I mean? was, it was like man, movie, it was. Chronic, you know Right. Like, I remember my first experience was, um, well, one of the first earliest experiences I can remember with, like, kind of modern-day hip-hop was, uh, I heard uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. it's the Thugs and It's Bone. Like, when that came on, yeah, bro. I feel like it was, like, it felt different than anything I've ever heard. And yeah. that was one of the most groundbreaking, yeah. kind of like, um, that you can rap and sing. Put melodies on it. Yeah, exactly. yeah, so that's dope. All right, well, let's get into the Freestyle Friday, man. All we right, got some let's questions. do that, let's do that. You got people that's been watching all across the country, What's Freestyle Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I heard they got some questions for you. So yeah. I'm here to, I'm, 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 I'm the conduit today. <laughs> right, I'm, right. I'm the vessel. Right. But uh, you know, I, I want to know these answers too. Okay. So first question is, this is from, uh, J Mix, Jeffrey, and uh, Leah, they want to know what inspired Freestyle Friday. Where did the inspiration come from? Oh, the inspiration came from a lot of different places, right? I would say, first and foremost, it would come from my mom, right? Like, if we're going to talk about it, my mom passed away, and I think watching her kind of go through her journey, like, I, I didn't want to leave here without being passionate about what I was passionate about. Uh, which was music. Uh, to actually get to the Freestyle Friday, that was just the content strategy uh, in regards to releasing music and trying to be in people's faces with what I do. Uh, I think the hard thing about today is, is if you release an album, they listen for two weeks and then they done with you and they move on to the next, right? And so Freestyle Friday was a way for me to get into a lot of the different genres of music that I like as well. It helped me work on uh, my pen game, trying to get slicker with my rhymes. Uh, but most importantly, the inspiration was, you know, truth and to just do dope shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a dope concept. I've never seen yeah. a rapper do a year straight of freestyle <laughs> Fridays. Right. Um, and know, putting videos on them, right? Yeah, putting videos. Not just the freestyle, but right. the actual video. Yeah. So I think that leads us into our next question is, yeah. Um, what is your favorite Freestyle Friday that you filmed? What, what was your favorite one at the moment? Um, I would probably say it was either New Day. Uh, I would say, you know what? I know what it is. It was Church. Church was the 10th one that I did. And it was crazy because Southwest was in town. I was supposed to perform at the venue. This was around the time that the bombings was happening and insurance had went up. And the venue didn't get the proper insurance to have all these people coming in with the speakers and set up. So they canceled my shot. Mm. The venue was dope. The energy was dope. I was with my DJ, Will Tudor, shout out. 
we got there, he was like, yo, why don't we just shoot a video? And I was like, I ain't really got nothing ready. So we eventually shot it. I had to memorize the lyrics because I was writing it in the car on the way back from Houston. He had just sent me the track. And we was like, yo, let's just try and capture the energy, right? Most of the times when I shoot the freestyles, I've written them out, I've rehearsed them. I got the lines and John Teller, we had to shoot that bad boy line by line um, because I didn't know the lyrics because I just wrote them out. Um, and it was probably the funnest because it was impromptu. We didn't plan it. Uh, the energy was right and we just kind of was in the moment. You know what I'm saying? There's logic in the theory and the motherfuckers on these ignorant niggas hear me. I give them church. I give them church.